Hi, this is George coming to you from Nautilus Mission Control at the University of Rhode Island's Inner Space Center. We just wrapped up the third leg of the 2012 expedition season and here are the highlights. Nautilus spent 14 days exploring the Eratosthenes Seamount off the southern coast of Cyprus. Now this seamount is one of the largest undersea features in the region. It measures about 75 by 50 miles and has a large flat summit that stands 2,000 meters above the surrounding seafloor. Fascinating geological formations abounded on this leg. Multiple sinkholes and huge fossilized coral reefs gave evidence of the seamount's brief sojourn above sea level as an island about 5 million years ago. The team mapped these areas with lasers, cameras, and Hercules' multi-beam sonar. They also imaged slick insides, smooth rock faces polished by friction as they slide past each other at or near fault lines. Now, because the seamount is being slowly but forcefully subducted below Cyprus, it contains many cracks through which life-sustaining chemicals can seep out of the Earth. These active vent sites support a wide variety of life, including tube worms, clams, crabs, urchins, and fish. We also saw a few squid on this leg, including these two locked in a loving embrace. At first, the team thought they were fighting, but we soon realized that it was quite the opposite. We also caught the briefest glimpse of this massive shark, by far the largest creature we've seen on this expedition. There were also ghosts of creatures past. The team at first thought that what you're seeing here are fossilized horn coral, but now believes that they're the fossilized ribs of a huge animal. They also found fossilized vertebrae that you can see here are the same color as the rock close by. The team also mapped and took sediment core samples of mysterious scours in the sediment. Scattered across the summit of the seamount, these gouges in the sea floor are believed to be the result of beaked whales diving down to take a big bite out of sediment. On this leg, we also encountered 150 or so lone amphora and revisited and remapped two Ottoman era shipwrecks discovered in 2010, one of which featured this barely discernible flintlock pistol. We also encountered a new shipwreck, Eratosthenes C. In addition to an unusual variety of amphora, the wreck featured pithoi, the clay jug's larger, rarer cousins, and an unidentified metal object. In other news, the team held the first Nautilus International Athletic Competition. Six events tested teams in the areas of ROV recovery operations, safety, and of course, physical endurance, and a fun time was had by all. For more news, you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and of course, you can always join the expedition live right here at nautiluslive.org. And now, back to Nautilus.